What's good? What's good? We are back. Yours truly, one and only Paul Pickett podcast. I'm your host, the one and only Paul Pickett, aka Triple P, aka the Common Sense Podcast, your source for music, sports, politics, what events, and much, much more. Today, I'm going to react to a video um, of a actor having a meltdown over white actors playing blue aliens in the Avatar. But before we get in that, let's give you a word from Dizzle. It's that one, that egg. Egg bite talking about this new drink. They're like, that's that turn, that lid, that slap. It is that one, that egg. Egg bite talking about this new drink. They like, that's that turn, that lid, that slap. It is that one, that egg. They like, you can dizzle too. Dizzle is a premium luxury liqueur mixed with agave tequila, French cognac, and orange liquor mango mix. Throw your dizzle on ice, and it's nice. If you want to order your very own bottle or bottles of dizzle premium luxury liqueur, go to dizzlebrand.com, click on our locations, click on one of the top three website links. I recommend Emilio's Beverage. Must be 21 and over. Shipping and handling is included. Below that is locations in California, Arkansas, Kansas, and Oklahoma as well. All right, let's get into it. Um, damn, I'm a little rusty. I, I've been doing so many interviews. I don't even got the video uh, uploaded. So give me one second, one second here. Bam. Uploaded right now as we speak. Change this format. And here we go. If you're a woke film critic who has a terrible opinion on a movie, you shouldn't be surprised when some people call you out. You shouldn't be surprised if that post goes viral that you get mocked by thousands of people on the internet. Because quite frankly, if you say something stupid, that's just something that happens. Now you do have an option if you are one of these woke film critics that finds yourself in a situation like that. You could just completely ignore that it ever happened. Maybe you could just delete the tweet. Maybe you could just say, ah, whatever, I'll move on with my life. <laughs> or you can try to play victim. You can have a complete woke meltdown and embarrass yourself even more. And that's what this person decided to do. Just a few days after having one of the worst avatar takes anyone had ever seen, claiming somehow that it's cultural appropriation when people that aren't the wow. skin color that you would prefer play alien Navi species, a nine foot tall blue skinned alien from a fictional planet. That was the take that Cathia Woods, a Rotten Tomatoes certified critic actually had certified. and she got brutally mocked film critic locks down twitter account after being mocked for saying white people portraying blue aliens in avatar movie is cultural appropriation and it was laughable she got destroyed for it and rightly so is a really stupid take she limited her replies but got quote tweeted to hell and back and i got involved with simply this this is all i did this is all i did l o l that's what I said. I retweeted her dumb tweet and I said, LOL. I didn't take like a crazy shot at her. I didn't do anything. I just laughed. I said, LOL. Because it was he so stupid, easy. right? It was just such a dumb take. And she eventually did protect her Twitter account. She didn't want people to see. So I just posted what she actually said. At some point, we got to talk about the cultural appropriation of Avatar and white actors are cosplayed as POC. These are blue aliens, wow. ma'am. Wow. These are blue aliens. These are not actually people so, of color in the real world uh despite the fact that they are played by several people of color in the movie as well as some white people but i'm sure that doesn't matter to you it's just a mess and so not necessary no amount of visual effects cgi is going to erase that bad lace fronts dry synthetic braids jesus fix it yes uh only people of color the only ones to ever wear braids in their hair that is right kathia so she got absolutely annihilated and of course everybody made a video about her and a couple others out there because it was laughable it was stupid these woke losers trying to come after avatar well she decided to double triple even quadruple down and in the process made an absolute fool of herself even more uh, i noticed this someone tagged me in this she used my video thumbnail as her background picture now hmm. and there's kathia she said oh aka woke girl blue advocate she did put my thumbnail in her twitter banner that's likely the most relevant thing that had ever happened to her in her life until what happened next when she decided to after she had blocked me right she blocked me and started talking shit from behind a block i had to call her out uh this is kathia woods right here 
I know I'm winning in life when hashtag Ryan Kennel, appreciate the hashtag, is making a video about me. And I wouldn't talk about looks, sir. That hairline is holding on for dear life. Now, first of all, Kathia, I'm going to teach you something here. If you're going to go after me, all right, if you're going to try to go after me, don't use a picture where I look good as hell. Don't use one of those. Tell there are plenty of bad pictures out there that you can find of me. Trust yeah. me when I tell you that. And when it comes to my hairline, my, my absolute perfect hairline, I got a big forehead. I ain't going to lie about that, obviously. My hairline has been the same that it's been since high school. Hasn't moved a bit. I just need room in there for that big fucking brain. Unlike <laughs> you... Who, if you want to talk about hairlines, Kathea, wow. this is actually you. Wow. This is legitimately you right here. I, I don't Wow, hold on. I got to chime in. Let's pump the brakes. Like, her hairline ain't got no room to talk. <laughs> what is she talking about? And I got to tell you, I don't even know where the fuck too. this thing starts. That is rough. I would never mention a hairline again in your life if you're talking about anybody else. But let's get back to the response here because th if this is you winning in life, I don't know what to tell you. You're winning so much, you attempted to talk shit from behind a block and got brutally ratioed before I said a word. If that's winning for you, I can only imagine how miserable your life is. And it's true. Now, I have to go incognito mode here to actually pull up her stuff. Uh, this is from before. she She's since changed her banner. Somehow, she's maybe backing off a little bit of this after she got brutally destroyed. Uh, but this is the original tweet. 3,400 quote tweets compared to those 500 likes. But this is that tweet. Look at this fucking ratio. 306 comments to 50 likes. And she's been blocking every single person in the comments that Damn. blasts her. Every single person that says anything, even if they're just laughing, she's blocking every single person. She's having a meltdown. When you go through... Go through her tweets. Look at just ratio after ratio after ratio. <laughs> Look at this 12 quote tweets right there. She's getting wrecked and she can't stop. She's doubling, tripling, quadrupling down. She even went so far to claim that people are stealing her image and they're profiting off her likeness. This is your Twitter profile picture. There's actually, in Twitter terms of service, if you realize if you have a picture out there on Twitter, anybody can use it that's also a Twitter user. So that doesn't work very well for you. But this is how these people work. They think everything is through the lens of race. If they get attacked, they just claim racism. That's what she did. That's what Kathia Woods has done. Say that it's just racist. She even did. I talk about this. She even did a pathetic stream, apparently, on her YouTube channel. Now, I'm not going to watch this entire thing. I had a couple people that suffered through the one hour of stupidity since she did the normal shit. Didn't actually address anything specifically, just called people racist because that's what people like this do. I think it's interesting. Every time we see Kathia, she's got a different hairstyle, though, yet she wants to talk about cultural appropriation. Her Twitter profile, she's got straight hair. This one, she's got it all braided up. And then, of course, Flash, this is a, an actual representation of what this person looks like. That's pretty rough. Big shout out to Yellow Flash for that. But, I mean, as you can see, this got no interaction. 98 views, 9 dislikes, and 2 like I haven't even disliked it or anything. I mean, told people to go dislike it, and I won't. Nobody should waste their time on this person on their YouTube channel because this person is a woke lunatic. They are a fake victim, and they're having a complete and utter meltdown. And she went after Anna, that Star Wars girl, after she commented on it to say something about her stealing her picture, even though she took a picture of me wow. that is, you know, publicly available, whatever. That, that, yeah, yeah. Strike two, hypocrite um, stance. First with the hairline and now talking about taking pics and you taking uh, RK's pic here and posting it on social media. You know, let me chime in, man. Let me let me chime in. Um, it's a science fiction movie. I didn't know um, that uh, African-Americans or black people... Um, identify with blue aliens um i could see if she was saying like you know it was a movie like uh what's that movie um with russell crow uh gods of egypt not well, not russell crow but uh my man from 300 gerald butler plays an egyptian and the dude off of lord of the ring not lord of uh yeah, Lord of the not Lord of the Rings, but um, Game of Thrones. The blind haired dude off of Game of Thrones plays an Egyptian. Like they literally only had 
in, in Gaza, Egypt, they only had one person in there that looked and resembled like what an actual Egyptian looked like, and that was Chadwick Boseman. Chaz, Chadwick Boseman, rest in peace to him, was in there. Uh, they had some, uh, I want to say, that, what is that? I want to say she's an Asian chick or Hispanic or something playing an Egyptian. Like, yeah, if you if you were talking about these movies where white people play Egyptians, yeah, those those movies are so whack. They're so whack. Or, or even like they have Arabic people playing Egyptians because Egyptians were African, you know, black. Um, so yeah, if you were talking about movies like that, I, I would get it. I would be totally with you. Like, yeah, man, you know, white people playing Egyptians. Come on, get the get the hell out of here. Or these um, old, like, Jesus movies where Jesus is white and he's not um, he's not Arabic or African looking because we know, like, there was no Caucasians from that those regions where, and that's the Jerusalem is the corner of Africa. So, and it's close to Arabic territory, but, you know, like, Definitely, when you see these movies with Jesus is playing Caucasian, yeah, I'm with you. Like, okay, but a blue alien, man, a blue alien. And why wasn't you saying this about part one? Because there was probably some white people playing um, the blue aliens in part one and two. And there was probably some Hispanics and other races as well when you look up the cast. I mean, there was a lot of characters playing the blue aliens. There's a lot of different ones. Um, yeah, some people just, they have to look at everything for a racial lens. And I think it's a really sad and miserable way to, to live. You know, it, it really is. Um, none, me and none of my friends, we don't, you know, we don't look at through anything through a racial lens. We look at everything through a common sense lens common knowledge lens, you know, uh, laws of nature lens, you know, because we know the the uh, laws of man are bogus anyways. Damn, I got a ton of notifications. But um, I'm with RK on this. This lady, um, she's the racist. Like, we got to pump the brakes. Science fiction movies, it, it shouldn't really matter who's playing what. But we talk about movies where you got white people playing Egyptians. Yeah, I'm not with that. Uh, another one, they had um, Christian Bell playing Moses. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. Hebrews, they weren't Caucasians. Moses wasn't no fucking white man. You know, and the Egyptians were fucking white as shit, too. And that one, they had um, Joel Edgerton or whatever his name is, the dude that played um on a... Uh, Black Mass with Johnny Depp when he was the um, undercover FBI or the FBI, the crooked FBI working with uh, Whitey Bulger. Like, yeah, they had him playing Egyptian and they had dude off of Transformers playing an Egyptian, you know, like, yeah, man. I mean, I'm with you if we're talking about white people playing Egyptians or white people playing Jesus or anything like that in any movies where you got white people portraying like the anything from like any Africans. Yeah, man. But blue aliens, man, let's pump the brakes, man. Let's pump the brakes. Uh, once again, I'll thank y'all for tuning in. Paul Pickett podcast. And I'm out.